This video is sponsored by Snapdragon. So we've already seen how Gen AI based assistants like ChatGPT and Copilot are much better at understanding our questions, as well as generally speaking, much better at answering those questions. But the thing is, they're all about to get a lot more useful because up until now, even though they're relatively new, we've only been writing or speaking to them, which is actually just being converted to text and given to the AI as text, basically, and then getting responses as text or again, text converted to speech. And while it makes sense as the natural progression of assistants, since we were already used to talking to, let's call them the first generation of assistants, it is very limited compared to what these AI models can actually do. For example, what if these generative AI assistants could do more than just say read? What if they, I don't know, could see? This new ability that all AI assistants are going to get sooner or later, honestly, is called multimodal AI. It's a clever approach that allows the AI to reason across different types of data instead of one, like now. The AI can seamlessly integrate and analyze multiple forms of data or multiple modalities slash modes of information. So text and again, voice to text as we have now, but also audio like music or just sounds even, images, whether that's something you point your camera at or something that's on your device's display and video even, again, on the screen of your device or taken with your device's camera. At Snapdragon Summit this year, we got to see some examples of what that is going to look like as well as some of the technology improvements we need for it to run well on their new Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset in a reference device. For one example, we were shown how you could simply point your phone at a check from a restaurant and ask it to take the bill total and add a tip for you, then also split it multiple ways. It can look and not only know that this is a check from a restaurant, but also know which number on it is the total, then do the math for you and give you the answer. Another example is pointing it at a math problem that isn't just text and asking it to solve it for you. It can recognize what that question is saying, then also recognize in the image the length and width of the item and give you the area based on that required formula. And again, it's not just the camera. You can have it look at what's on your screen and answer things for you that way. Use your location to help give more contextual information from that. Even whatever data you might've given it access to, like your emails or a knowledge graph about your preferences, your health data if you wanted, etc. Now with all of this, you can still respond with your voice as usual or type to it. Um, eventually be able to probably add in another photo to add to the question. But you can see as this gets better and better, how it'll help these newer generation of AI assistants just become more assistive. It starts to sound more like how we as humans process the world around us, doesn't it? And while the phone is easily the most popular way that we'll see this type of thing in as many people's hands as possible, it's not just going to be limited to that. We'll see it in cars in the form of their in-car infotainment systems where you can use gestures to control the car via a camera in the dash. Smartwatches will use this to process your biometric data along with your voice, diagnostic tools, industrial robots, basically everything. Again, at the Snapdragon Summit, we also got to see an XR demo where you can look at a foosball table without saying what it is, ask questions about what's in front of you to get answers about it, including tips, history, etc., and then ask follow-up questions. Now, obviously this reference XR device isn't something you'd wear out, but again, you could see as things get smaller, like these meta Ray-Bans, for example, which we've already started to see add some of these multimodal AI features like translating signs and menus, telling you what you're looking at, etc. You can see how it can be even more seamlessly used in your daily life if you wanted it to be. Now, of course, there are other things at play here to make this work as well as it does. All of this is running on the device locally, which is the way that a lot of this is going, is it means better privacy, much faster responses, no need for internet connection, and cost and energy savings as well. Compared to last year, the new Snapdragon 8 Elite platform is 45% faster at inferencing this type of data and has better performance per watt. They can do 70 plus tokens per second, a benchmark measurement used for this type of AI work. All of these LLMs process and output in tokens, which are chunks of text, i.e., let's say a word. So this is how fast it can infer and calculate based on the complexity of the question that you asked, for example. And in demos, while they claim 70 plus tokens per second, we were even seeing someone over 110 per second, which at that point, you're starting to feel like it's pretty instant, which of course is necessary for these things to again, be more useful. In addition to that, you need to be able to use optimized large language models or LLMs as having an optimized model for the hardware can increase inference by up to four times. So the Qualcomm AI hub and online hub that developers can use to optimize their apps for on-device AI already has a library of over 100 plus models already optimized and developers can, of course, bring their own. In addition to that, they're adding new LLM support all of the time. IBM's Granite, for example, or even the French Mistral model, which just increases the languages and functions that these multimodal abilities can be used in. So there you go, what multimodal AI is and how it's gonna make AI a lot more useful. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Also, if you wanna learn more about what Qualcomm has announced here at the Snapdragon Summit, 
I'll leave a link below. Now though, I'm gonna go find some poke. Shown nowadays, car. So it begins. And it makes sense, it's the natural progression of things. Truck, bus, something. Something trying real hard to get up a hill. That's what that is. These new assistants. Oh, water's like, even in beautiful Hawaii. Get your muffler fixed. Do not just take children. Oh, a child found fire. Got real excited about it, gonna go run into it. The ability for everything is squeaking. <laughs> it's the horn blowing guy. He goes around and he, he lights all the torches, but he blows the horn while he does it. Good timing. AI-based assistance. <laughs>